Good morning, bee people. We're here in the apiary and we're doing a little work on our colonies and we're getting some stuff ready to for the nectar flow that's kicked in. And one of the things that we want to stop and for a moment and share with those that are maybe not beekeepers, but um, are just curious, you know, bees make honey, as everyone knows. They also naturally produce the honeycomb that the honey is stored in and that uh, is made of wax. So, you know, two of the sources or resources that the bees make um, with honey and, and honeycomb and wax are very uh, well used, well liked. Uh, and naturally, the Europeans who brought the, uh, the honeybee over here in the 1620s uh, recognized the benefits of, you know, the wax from the combs for candles and honey because of its natural sweetener. Uh, and so that, that's really what's commonly known about bees. But one thing that most people don't really understand that bees make is something called propolis. And I'm showing you what that looks like here. You can see the corner of this screen inner cover. And in the corner, there's this hard kind of substance that's used, that's made by bees. This is called propolis. Propolis is really just a resin substance that the bees produce to seal their hives. Think of like spackle in a house on drywall. So when they want to close up gaps and, you know, beekeepers use these tools to break apart the boxes when, uh, when they're stuck together. And that's because the propolis is built up. You can see on the edge of this box, the propolis that's built up um, to stick the boxes, close the air gaps and seal up their colony. So one of the things that's great about propolis is it is extremely antimicrobial, back, antibacterial, bacterial, and antifungal in its nature, its composition. And it's, it's hard to harvest if you are gonna harvest it, but it gets on the frames, it kind of gets everywhere. Um, you can see it here. Um, you know, using down the side, we you know heated that up so it actually melted down the side. But um, it's definitely something that if you can harvest, it's it has great benefits for lots of reasons. Um, you'll get some propolis in your um, in your actual honey, uh, very small amounts. You'll get some some trace amounts of pollen as well. But propolis is just a, such a fantastic substance, and I've created I've put links on my my uh, Facebook page around about propolis. And I'll dig that link out again and, and publish it so people can read about its, you know, kind of its chemistry and what, what makes it important to bees. And, uh, and humans love it because you can make, you can kind of make it, ground it up, use it in a candy. You can be use it in a, a throat lozenger. It can be used in really any form, but it has really no taste to it because it's made of tree sap um, and other types of uh, resins that the bees will harvest. But it gets on everything. So what we're doing now is we're going through and we're cleaning up our um, our screen inner covers that uh, have it on it. You can see here, here's a here's a large amount of it along the edge here um, that we're going to clean up and break off. Um, so it's real easy to do if you're a, a beekeeper. You really just need to break it up um, off the screen. That's why I love these screen inner covers is that it almost is so, uh, doubles as a propolis trap because if you break up the propolis that's on the edges, and you can see, sorry for all the bang, I'm using doing one this one-handed. I'm not really putting a lot of effort in this, and you can see, it's just snapping off the sides. I'm taking care not to puncture through my screen dinner cover. But you can take that and you can harvest it um, after you've kind of cracked it, I usually take it and just slam it on another board with a bottom trap. And it breaks right off. So then you can see, we've got all this propolis that we're collecting. Um, now, if this is a mixture of propolis and wax, but there's a lot of propolis within that. So I put that in an alcohol. I break this up into pieces, put it into an alcohol tincture, and let it dissolve its properties um, so that people can, we can use it. I can use it in, in, um, my wax products such as lip balms, as well as, um, in any types of creams, you can use it. Some people will pay big dollar for this, uh, ground up by the gram. Uh, we may take some of that and do that ground up powder. Um, it de definitely has some sticky qualities to it when it's ground up. So it, it definitely clumps together once you add moisture back to it. 
Um, so it's still hard to, to do anything with uh, as a powder. But I just wanted to share that with everyone because I think that's something that most people who are not beekeepers um, don't really understand about bees and what they do. Um, they're pretty smart, you know, individuals. They're pretty smart creatures that um, that really uh, take the time to to actually seal up their hive, make sure there's no air gaps, and they use that glue, as you can see along this frame, that they push in the gap to close the gap up and seal the hive. So that's propolis. I uh, hope you guys uh, enjoyed the video and learning a little bit more about something that bees make beyond just the uh, traditional honey and uh, and honeycomb. And uh, we love to teach people new things that, about the bees. So make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel, like us and follow us on, like us both and follow us on Facebook so you get the alerts. And then on YouTube, hit the bell button, hit the subscribe button, then hit the alert button. Because every time we make a new video, it's something always different. We try not to make the same videos, you know, through the year. Years, we, uh, we have a few duplicate videos and we learn new things. So we like to add those. But subscribe to the channel, share it with your friends uh, as we continue to learn things here at the Bohemian Apiary about the bees, where beekeeping is definitely more than a hobby. It's an obsession. Thanks for watching, everyone.